Oh yeah. Cracking into the Arnold Palmer early. Just like I'm streaming early. Well, not as early as I wanted to, so the stream might just be this and uh, nothing else. Mm. So today's been a day. Um, I mowed the lawn for the first time this year. It was exhausting. Uh, and I also got my taxes done, which was really nice. Good to have that out of the way. Uh, but yeah, I'm here now. I'm, a, I'm pretty tired, honestly. I feel, I feel kind of sick. I feel like I'm getting a fever. So, might be a low-key, uh, stream-ish, stream, stream-er, stream this, that, the other thing. Anyway, hey, um, I figured I'd go back to this and finish it. Um, we might be able to finish it tonight. I don't know. So I did some stuff off-stream to make this a lot easier. Uh, first things first. I went to the shop over here. So with the uh, ring, I can break these blocks. I've been in here before, too. I've showed this off already. So there was a piece of armor here and a sword uh, called the Lucky Sword, which I did buy. The Lucky Sword is only 300 coins, so it's really easy to get. And it says, get lucky, plus 90 attack, plus special. So what this sword actually does is it doesn't increase the frequency of money drops, but if you have it equipped, the money that does drop is increased. By a significant margin, too. So, like, that's 26, when that would probably have been, like, 10, initially. And that affects everything. Money dropped from blocks, money dropped from enemies, money out of chests. So it's very helpful to have that, and it's very cheap. It's not the strongest sword, but it's absolutely worth getting. See, like, look at the money I'm getting right now. 90, 90, 87, 35. That's a lot of money. And essentially what I did was... Uh, I'll show the route I took, because I've showed it off last time, actually. It's in the pyramid. I'll go once. I essentially went through the route to the pyramid and got all the money-making stuff. And then just bought out all the shops. I bought out the feathered sword from the shops over there. I bought out all of the crystal equipment from the shop at the top of the clock tower. That the only uh, mouse man can reach. The one up here. The one over through those blocks over there. Uh, I bought all those crystal swords. Red tourmaline, red jasper, tangerine quartz. Um, I bought the master shield from the end of end of the uh, beach area, which again, it's not that great right now. It's just uh, it's just a shield. Um, I bought the what is it? This one, night shield, fit for feathered creatures. So I, I have all of it. I have everything I could get right now. I have every piece of equipment I could get at this point. Also, in the process of grinding money, I also now have max uh, healing potions. So I have the max amount of health possible. I, have, I guess 20 hearts, technically. So this is what I was doing to grind for money. I did this for like maybe an hour and a half alongside buying everything. But yeah, once you get... Once you get, uh... A lucky sword it gets way easier to grind because it's just it just you just pile on the money quickly like it's not that great against minor enemies but once you find like a treasure box and later there is one that regenerates that gives you a lot of money uh, you unlock it after you get the final form uh, it's very easy to grind to get the remaining few items in the game So it's pretty much just taking this route constantly, with the Lucky Sword equipped. Which, this would be very, very, very uncomfortable for Piranha Man. Because, uh, he'd be drying out so quickly out in this, like, dry, acrid desert. With, his, with, the, with, with their, like... Moist skin. Again, I am playing as the female character. I don't really think that makes any difference to the form I have, though. Well, I mean, I know it doesn't from a gameplay perspective, but you, you get what I mean. So 
to go over here, jump up here. Also notice, when I'm up here now, the timer's not moving. The timer's frozen up here for some reason. And then it restores down here, and I just took damage. Ow. So you kill them. Uh, normally they drop uh, money. But I come here with the lucky sword equipped. Drop down. Hey, Shell Shock. Get this chest. I got your GVG shirt? Nice. I, um, I'm just gonna refrain from buying any merch just because I'm already an EP. So, I'm probably gonna get the, the goodie when they, they start doing that in another month or so. It's, I think August is the earliest it's gonna be sent out. So that one drops more money. So obviously with the, with the sword on, with the sword on, it's even more money. And then one more time. I don't know why that chest never regenerates. I think that's a heart in there. So all these are items. They're useful, but don't really need them. And I go to this one at the end, get some more money. And then it also drops a potion, which I'm at max capacity for, but it helped me stock up on them. So it's a free potion no matter what. And then what I would do is I just return to title, because that regenerates all the chests, start over, and I'm back in the town. <laughs> and I just repeated that over and over until I could buy everything. So, I am as strong as I could possibly be right now. There, and another 75. If I really need to, I could always equip the Prince Armor to get more health, but 150 attack and 190 defense. Again, I think it's different depending on the form. Like, not just the number, but how much it's worth. Like, 150 attack on Piranha Man is probably worth more than 150 on Mouse Man. But anyway, with, um, with three potions, five hearts, and all the best equipment I can afford, I am ready to finally do the dungeon. When this pandemic is over and people can have big public gatherings, I want to see if we can, there could be some GVG meetups and get people from both areas together. That'd be pretty cool. I would be down for that, maybe. Um... Honestly, if we're if we're gonna do that, I would just wait until well, I guess New Jersey, New York. Oops, oh, I scared myself there for a second. Yeah, I'd be up for it. If they do, um... If when all this is over... Actually, you know what? I really don't need the better sword right now. I'll equip the lucky sword until I get in the dungeon. Just so I can get some extra money. If they do PAX East, I will definitely uh, try to go to that next year. Love PAX East. I, I don't know which one... Because I feel like they would just do PAX West since they're all West Coast people. But, uh, if they came to the East Coast, I would I would absolutely go and meet them. I know a lot of people that go to PAX East, so that would be pretty neat. Ash and Derek go to PAX East each year. Well, there you go. Ow! Oh, no. Hopefully if 2022 happens, Steve goes as well. Yeah. He doesn't seem to have any qualms about traveling, so I would imagine he would go in a heartbeat if he can get the time. I do heavily respect that about Steve. He is a he's a family man, he has a full-time job, and he still works on an, a very, very s successful budding podcast slash, uh, community. That is absolutely something I can respect and get behind. Eh. Oh, no, you're annoying me. Go this way and get refilled. I'm seasick of healing fish all day. Hello. Oh, it's the same shop theme for both, uh, 
the hospital and the shops. It's just uh, remixed differently. I like that there's a skull on her uh, desk. Oh, I also noticed the crab over there. I wonder if that's unique to this hospital. Dungeon's like right here, right? Yep. This game's a lot smaller than I remember it being, but it's also, uh... I mean, I'm playing hard mode, so... It's to be expected. Alright. Time to put the crystal sword on and get started. The shipwreck. Actually, wait. Crystal armor, 75 defense. Prince armor, 56. So I could take a 20... I mean, that's... I could take a 20 defense or a 19 defense dip in order to get some more hearts instead. I mean, that's what I had equipped before, and I wasn't doing too well. But if I take too much damage, I'll... Uh, I'll reconsider it. That said, they're only dropping money here. But also, before I had no potions, now I have the max amount. I hate these enemies so much. Still takes two strikes to kill them with this sword. This is the strongest I can get, I think. Yeah. So, Magical Saber, we got that last time. That uh, lets you turn star blocks into... Uh, or stars into blocks, which are only in two rooms of the game. The room you get it in, and the room into the last dungeon. Somehow I beat this dungeon on extreme, but I couldn't beat the next one. I like how even though it's supposed to be like the it's sunken upside down, they still have the barrels stuck to the ceiling. <laughs> Three hits with this sword. There is technically one more weapon I could have gotten at this point, but it would require me to go deeper into an area I haven't gone to on stream yet. Ah, ah. Nice. Oh, there's another one. Okay, I haven't gotten to this room yet on this playthrough. And again. Grabbing hearts at full health and hard mode and extreme, well, yeah, and extreme is worth it because it does refill the timer, even if uh, I'm at full health. I still don't know how long the timer is. I think it's every 30 seconds? Nope. You were there. Yeah, this game's MO is kind of just having uh, stronger enemies be different colors. And they do recolors very quickly in this game. Same dungeons, usually. Also, these enemies are based on direction. So yeah, that one in the back won't appear until I'm in front of it, unfortunately. Hey, Yoko, how you doing? Nice. Oh, am I at the end already? Damn. Alright, 
Bosses are easy. Oh, no, I'm not at the end. It's just a straight transition. Cool. Thank you for bumping me all the way back there. Got my gaudy headphones stand in the mail. Oh, nice. I'm all about LEDs. LEDs nuts! Sorry. I mean, my computer has a ton of that stupid LED stuff in it that I always said was pointless, and now I'm just like, I love it. Ah, no. Cool! Oh, and I'm so close to death, too. I wish I had taken the hit, used the potion, and then got it right there. Oh, there's one. Oh, this- that doesn't do jack shit, huh? That does, though. Use those more strategically. I think that's the end. The USB passed through even works as intended. Nice. Captain Dragon! One of my favorite designs. He doesn't. His hitbox is really high up. I think all of them are. Oh, he shakes the ground too, which doesn't really affect it. Also, I'm gonna kill him really quickly. Captain Dragon's really cool. I think the next one's really cool, too. There we go. Coins also don't bounce, so it's easier to get them. It's been a while since you played this. I know. It's it's It came out a while ago, but it's still a great game. Anyway... I'm lying now. Oh no, what a horrible curse. How dare, how dare they make me something much stronger. Anyway, now is the point where you're supposed to come and get the, sh the furry edge so uh, shield, but I already got it. <laughs> so, what can I get here? 190, see look, my stats are already higher because of the transformation. 190, 100, okay. 250 for the Muramasa blade. With the, uh, with Lion Man. 135, so yeah, the Master Shield is kind of his implied good one. Or their implied good one. Again, I'm playing as, uh, the female character. Looks like 75 is still the best for, uh, for the armor. So 250, 210 is the best I can do with Lion Man. Which, uh, is pretty good, because the max attack is 255. So, as Lion Man... Burb. Hey, Val. So, as Lion Man, um, pretty much the same as all the other characters. Major thing is he cannot swim like Piranha Man, but his, uh, his swing is an arc, which the other characters don't do. He, they, they just stab. He swings. And I think that's it. I don't think there's anything different. Yeah. Simplistic. But that means he could hit this, which makes this appear. Actually, wait a minute. Is this treasure chest still intact here? I'm gonna probably put this luck the lucky sword back on just for the time being. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. 
Now that's a warrior. The main, the roar, the smell. Yeah, I just got the lion. I just beat Captain Dragon. So, his downward swing, let's just bash these open. I could get down here before with Mouse Man, but now I can actually do it legitimately. And I think there are goodies over here. Part number six. Funny they never really explain why you lose your hearts when you turn into Lizard Man. Sold out. No charm, no sale. So that item, I think, is an item unique to this remake. Uh, and you need a specific item that's only available in the remake to get it, and I will get them later. But I already bought the sword here with Mouse Man last stream, or last time I played it. <clears throat> anyway, this is the next way to go. The Underground. I'm gonna keep uh, this sword equipped just for now, just because the money is worth it. Anyway, this is where the game just starts getting enemy spam non-stop. I mean, that is kind of this game in a nutshell, enemy spam. There's the entrance to uh, the Mouse Man's underground right there. Or unknown, rather, not underground. Super helpful item coming up eventually. Not yet. Best form is soon to come too, yeah. I mean, I would argue this form's pretty much one of the best as well. Just because it's so beefy and powerful, but the next form breaks the game. Absolutely. I probably should have got another potion before coming here though. Just because this is pretty much a non-stop path to the end. I mean, that's pretty much the whole game in a nutshell. Non-stop paths to the end. And now we're going to deal with Ghost again, too. This isn't it, right? Nope. So what we're looking for is a dead end on the top floor. With the, with the hidden door. I think it's after the lava parts. In fact, before I get there, I better put the, uh... The dragon mail on. Also, why do I... Well... Yeah, dragon mail will be fine. Or until... Well, no. When I see the, uh... When I see it, I will. Until then, Prince Armor. Just for parts. Hurts. This might be it. No? Yes? Again, game never really tells you where the secret doors are. You're just kind of left to find them on your own. Okay, there's the armor. Or the lava, rather. There's more than one pool of it. Actually, come to think of it, is there a hidden door down here? No. Yeah, the game treats lava like a liquid. <laughs> as long as you have the dragon armor on, it doesn't hurt you. There's gonna be more lava coming up soon. So here you can see a broken uh, hospital thing. If you go in there, there is indeed a hospital. Not so bad outside. I'm pretty sure you'll do great. What'd you say here? Not a great place to start a business, I know. Uh, 
I could have swore there's a, a door in one of the lava pits. Uh, there might be. I, I have to find it, though. Oh, you got final two now? After did you you, fin you finished the first one? First one came out in 2004. Oh, I think you mentioned it the other day then. You had everything unlocked? Cool. Alright, no. I don't think there's a hidden door here. Ow. Yeah, I think it's time for the Prince Armor. Yep, here it is. So this leads to a dead end with a shop. Tasmanian sword. Possessed by animal spirits. 1,480 coins. You're my first client. So this sword... Possessed by animal spirits. Attack plus special. Doesn't look like anything... Doesn't look like anything special on the surface. Just 164 attack. But, if I jump and hold up while attacking... I could switch between any of the forms I have unlocked already, which is super useful. So I don't need to find a transformation room. It essentially allows you to break the game. Like, if you come here as soon as you get, uh, Mouse Man, and the, uh, and the, uh, thing that lets you break blocks, and manage to get that sword, it pretty much breaks, like, doing the puzzles, because then you don't have to worry about swapping, especially in the last dungeon, because in the last dungeon you swap constantly. So like you could br you could do what you need to do in a puzzle and then immediately just switch to the to the lion man for fighting. That's cool. Like now you can kind of just like do what you want. Like look how low your stats drop as the uh, as li as lizard man. Magical saber is zero attack for him. Zero defense. Zero. De yeah, mostly equipment is zero defense. Rapid fire too. It's really cool. Really awesome. It turns out I think the I think that was originally a dev tool, and they just kind of kept it in the game. I don't know if it was intentional or not, but I mean they put it. They kind of hid it away, so I imagine it would be. Anyway, we can put the lucky sword back on. Uh, Master shield is fine. Again, there's really no reason to use it right now. It's good to have, but it's definitely not necessary. Let's uh, move back. Ah. Can't avoid it sometimes. Managed to beat our type final one to once on kids difficulty. Yikes. Money. Potion at the end, maybe? Yes, give to me. Even that difficulty is mean. It's like when I played Gunstar not Gunstar, uh Alien Soldier on super easy, and that's still not easy, it just gives you unlimited continues. <laughs> anyway, I think we found all the goodies here, now it's kind of just a straight shot to, uh, the end. Yeah, Alien Soldier is really good. I played that way back in my first year of streaming. For, th for Thanksgiving, ironically.
believe this is dual pad. Both of them. Epsilon is one awesome turkey. Yes. Uh, Izzy really loves uh, Alien Soldier. He's the reason I played it. Yeah, these these blue things are, are bad news here. Uh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. that is the most absolute lucky thing that could happen to me. Oh, if you fall there, you're fucked, though. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Can I jump high? I don't think I can. No. It just looks like I can because Mouse Man is so fucking tiny. If only I could fly... I remember one of my best non-furry friends was a huge shooter friend. He showed you Alien Soldier on an emulator. It's kind of, it's kind of like a legendary game because it, uh, it, 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 many years ago, yeah, it's, it wasn't released in America originally, and it wasn't released physically in Europe. It was on that Sega like s satellite thing. Alien Soldier is hard. Yes, it is. Huh. Okay. Sega Channel. There we go. First US launch was the Wii Virtual Console, yep. Oh, so it just starts the dungeon music here. So this actually has no music here, and then music when you get in the dungeon. And I'll probably put the crystal arm on. These throw and then jump over you. Sega so Channel, Pulse Man, Golden Axe 3, Alien Soldier, Mega Man, The Wily Wars. That's another game I've wanted to play. Uh, I have never played Wily Wars. Wily Wars, Mega Man Extreme 1 and 2 on the Game Boy Color. And I think that's it. And Mega Man Battle Network 4.5. Needing to distinguish best non furry friend, yeah. That same week they also put out Axelay too. It even had secret levels. Yeah, it did. Uh, yeah, I remember that from the Scott the Waz video. There was a se there's secret levels on the Sega channel for the Genesis Garfield game. Which may have been used in other versions, apparently. Look, I could destroy those things finally. The, the character arc is finally done. Actually, it was the last pre-treasure game from Konami. Pre-treasure treasure game. I don't think these things drop anything. Oh, ah, <laughs> yes. Shisa. And it showed due to the weapon systems. Nice. Yeah. Boop. Ever played Garrus for the Genesis? It's really the only good old shooter you're good at. I have never played... I never had a Genesis growing up. Okay, this is probably the coolest dungeon in my opinion. The Daimyo Temple. Spoilers, it's a straight corridor like every other dungeon in this game. It's really funny how the only dungeon that's not like that is the one at the very beginning of the game that's purposely made extremely easy to get through. Those drop electricity. Tried to record a no death run of Garrison very hard, but you took a break from it. Nice. I mean, d just attempting something on very hard and no death is, is incredible. Most games, 
if you do very hard, you're not gonna be able to do that. <laughs> I've never played it, though. Like, again, I never owned a Genesis, so my exposure to a lot of Genesis games are very, very low. I do think Lion Man's range is a little shorter, just because he swings instead of stabs, but I can't uh, confirm that. Okay, I'm wearing the Prince Armor. I need those refills. Fuck. The worst part about the timer is that it does, um... It does stun you. Oh, wait. No, it doesn't. Um, I think it only stuns you if you're in stun lock or something already. Oh, God. How much more? Okay, we're at the end. Before we go in there, though, there's a secret shop over here. Or no, secret, uh... Secret room. Nice. Full refill and a potion. Oh, perfect. Alright, let's fuck this dude's day up. It's the other design for a dragon that I really like. Really, is that really the best thing for him? Daimyo dragon. really funny how easy the bosses are compared to the rest of the game on, on hard mode. The worst curse of them all. And by worst, I mean the absolute best. Hawkman. Why do these dragons do this to you? Like, why? How are they able to do that? And also, why do they have animals that are not them? So, yeah, um. Hawkman. Uh, he's a little weak in terms of power, raw power. Uh, I have to put the crystal sword on him. The Night Shield, which is fit for feathered creatures, is the best- Oh, actually, no! The Night Shield is already outclassed by the, uh, Crystal Shield. And the Crystal Armor is the best he could do. So, 130, 160. Obviously, a huge drop from Lion Man. His expression and all. Hawkman has the best look, yes. How do I do Switch streaming? Uh, I have a Elgato HD60+. Plus. Wait. Sorry, no, HD60S. It's one- it's the cheaper one. There's probably a better one. Like, you could probably get a better one for less money now. It's pretty good, but I have the cord. You need to get the S+. Plus. It's pretty good, but anytime the cord gets jostled, uh, the the thing resets itself, and then I have to reseat everything because the audio gets desynced, and I have to recheck all my settings to make sure they're working. What does it do? Well... 
it interrupts the connection from the Switch to the TV. So I have one HDMI cable going from the Switch to the capture card, and then one HDMI going from the capture card to the TV. And then I also have the USB. Yeah, it's an HDMI uh, pass-through. And then I have the USB connected from the Elgato to the computer. And that's how this, the feed gets on here. It comes with an HDMI. Or maybe it didn't, I don't know. I had I had an extra. They're, they're dirt cheap, the HDMI cables. The upside is that it means I can play on here and on the TV uh, at the same time if I want to. The downside, though, is that if I have the capture card plugged in and my computer is powered off, um, the signal won't show up on the TV, which is kind of annoying. What? Oh. Anyway. Yeah. Hawkman. Uh, pretty much the same as everyone else. Except, he has the bone- he does not have- well, he does have a shield. Uh, and it doesn't sh oh, it shows it, never mind. Wait, what's the difference- what's the lion man have there, then? But anyway, the big difference is if you press B, you could fly with him, which is really cool. And you could attack in the air. But again, he's not the strongest. Uh, even though he, his stats aren't terrible, his innate stats are probably very low. And that's, that's why he doesn't do much damage. Like, he's got the best equipment he has right now, and he's not killing these things. Tail moves. Uh, all right, what am I doing? All oh, right, I wanted to check. Uh... All right, he can crouch, which oddly enough, most of them cannot do. He clings. Swim. Let's save a lion, man. Oh, nothing. There's just nothing there for him. I believe it's May already, yeah. May 1st. We're doing it. Ancient Underworld Design for Mortals Only. Hades Armor. 2,000. 60D Defense and Special. This is a free potion. Well, not free, but it is a potion. Have a long life, my friend. Uh, if I have that equipped uh, and I have no potions left and I die, it'll revive me once. And then I'll lose the armor and it automatically equips, I think, like the weakest one I have. I can also find it as a drop from enemies, but I don't know where... Hades armor. Yeah, we don't want to keep that equipped. <laughs> yep, almost June, which means it's almost time for me to stream Battle Network 6 for the 15th anniversary and finally close out the 15th anniversary, ironically, on the 20th anniversary of Battle Network. The defense is nice, but honestly, there's stuff that could do it way better for everyone else. Return. Anyway, now we pretty much got access to the remaining areas of the game. Um, we could fly up here. We could go down here, which... Oh, there's a new shop we could go to. Key. These keys are my best quality. Made them myself. I make them myself, so we need that. Heavenly shield. Lightweight. Made of wisps of cloud. Hawkman. 120 defense. We need that. Knew I'd sell it eventually. So I believe that is his shield, yep. Even though the knight shield is fit for feathered creatures as well. <laughs> so this is pretty much as good as it's going to get right now. The key, I believe we need two of them. Those wings, so much to explore. Aren't you supposed to be taking off now? Uh, oh, right. Get the treasure first. Uh, wait a minute. Like I stare at the word balloon, yeah. 
Oh, never mind. There's nothing over there. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay. Oh, wait! Yeah, that's the thing I forgot about with Hawkman. Uh, he takes damage in water. I forgot about that. Nice. Okay, there's heart seven. Playing Monster Hunter tonight too? Uh, probably not. I mean, by the time I finish this, probably gonna be time for me to stop. I was gonna start earlier and do some other stuff as well, but... So we're gonna use the key we bought to get in here. Uh, this is where we needed the Magical Saber from before. Uh, that said, actually, we're not going to do that, because that just takes you to the final area, and we don't want to go there just yet. Also, I forgot, this, that sword actually cannot break blocks. Um... <laughs> Always a pleasure. Please get hurt and come back soon. Put the lucky sword back on, because I pretty much need it going forward here. So you go right from here, you're actually in the area that you come up from from the well before. I might do Monster Hunter tomorrow, actually. I was thinking of doing that tomorrow, along with um, the other stuff I wanted to do today, and I'm not doing. Here, we're back at the uh, beginning of the game. Alright, we need the key to get in there. Shit. However, there is something hidden here. Legendary shield. Some fool lost this one in the labyrinth. Uh, so that's my shield from the beginning of the game. Uh, but I don't have enough to buy it back. I, had to, I have to go buy another key. I forgot about that. So yeah, this is totally optional. You don't- you do not have to come back to this area if you don't want to. Good choice, and it looks just like a real one! Also, something cool. This game originally didn't do this, and they added it into the, uh, to an update that came out. But, uh, when you return here, the music is different now. It's like a different remix of it. And it's called The Old Castle. When at the beginning of the game it was called The Final, The Last Level. So it still warps you. Uh, now there's ghosts in here instead of regular enemies. So it's very weird, because this is the end of, um... This is the end of the last level of Wonder Boy 2. And at the end of that, the, en the end of that, it's completely different. So it's like, th th like this game kind of retcons the end of that game.
Yeah, it's a what if. I like it. It's be it's a better what if. But yeah, originally, when this game came out, the uh, this area used the same music as the beginning of the game uh, when you return to it. I believe they also changed the credits theme a bit. They changed the instrumentation on it. So we're going back to the boss room, where there's a single chest, which now has... My sword from the beginning of the game, the legendary sword. Stuff legends are made of. 245. That's one piece of my equipment back. And there is the legendary armor. It's called legendary for a reason. 100 defense. So it's... Oh, it's even better. Yep. So now all I have to do is buy back that other one. Uh, and then I'm only missing... Yeah, I got all the armor. So I'm just missing that one, um, the one sword that you could buy from that shop that's locked. Um, I, you won't be seeing that till post-game. But yeah, that and the shield. And I've gotten everything aside from the last heart. Where is the last heart? Also, the amount of health that the, um, the shield generates, or the, sorry, the potions generate, is kind of random. And we're out here now. So I'm gonna reload, because, uh, there is something, there's a way to get money very quickly. That's pretty much as high stats as I could get right now. Yeah, money exploits. Uh, where is Heart 8? Is that in the last dungeon? It is, it is in the final dungeon. Alright, so I can't get that now. Alright. So I'll need the Lucky Sword. Uh, and I need to put on the Tasmanian Sword right now. So I can fly over there.
Yeah, we definitely don't want the uh, bird. He's too squishy, unfortunately. But he is useful later. Now, if you come back into this chest, it drops a ass load of money. And with the Lucky Sword equipped, you're getting like a hundred per bag, so... And this does regenerate. All I have to do is save and quit and return. Four thousand. One more trip, and I've got enough already. So if you just tap left and right, you, you start flying up a bit. Like I said, with uh, with Piranha Man, uh, if you pressed left and right in the water, you would slowly rise, and you'd actually be able to glitch yourself out of the water and get to the uh, the heart early. Uh, but I think they patched that out. It doesn't work anymore. That item actually fell right through the floor. Pretty good. I'm gonna claim our prize and uh beat the game. Sure glad I went through the rubble. Legendary shield. Some fool lost this one in the labyrinth. 150 defense. That's pretty much as good as it can get right now. Wait, no, actually the Muramasa Blade is still stronger for him. So yeah, 250, 250. Five points below maximum on the strongest character. But anyway, 
turn to title, so we can speed this up a little bit. Need the magical saber. Whoa. Frames, please. Heavenly Shield is actually better for uh, Hawkman. But this legendary armor is definitely the best one all around. I do need a potion, though. Jump to hit those now. Pretty much good on money, because the only thing left to buy is the, uh, the extra sword, which is, I believe, 2017 gold. That's the year it came out. 2017. So other than that, it's just medicine money. <laughs> able to actually jump and fuck this thing's day up is so worth it. Here, I might as well just get all the money. Just in case. I believe there are healing spots or in the uh, final dungeon. thing, though. Hold on. Yep. Knew it. Oh, it just takes me to the end of the... What? Okay. Alright. Well, that's kind of pointless. It's all connected! Now we're ready to beat the game. Supposed to, which one I'm supposed to hit. Mm 
Silence is deafening. This is a little clunky, not the most fun part. Okay, well, that didn't help. God, you have to be so precise with this. Hey, tornado. I don't think there's anything else here. Okay. The Sky Palace. Take a sip of my drink real quick. True last dungeon. I have a par very particular clientele here. They all die and come back. A lot of small pads, like invisible pads here, that enemies can go through. And Mouse Man, too, if you're playing as him. The game kind of assumes you don't have that sword, though, so there's a bunch of transformation rooms everywhere. And it's essentially, you're, you're expected to just pick the form that works best and stick with that form until you reach the next one. Though, it really is completely pointless since I have the transformation sword. nothing.
Should we put the lucky sword on? Oh, nope, there's the final heart. Never mind. They just straight up give it to you. Cool. Alright, now we're fully decked out here. Use those iframes. Again, they still assume you're Mouse Man here. Who of uh, all the enemies we fought up to this point? Transformation room. Yep. And this area is supposed to be done with Lion Man, but I think you could just sneak through there because I never put collision in that spot down there. Not that really matters. I'm already over here. I took damage anyway. Fills here. Oh, 
Oh no. Oh no. to know that there's a transformation room right there. Anyway, now we're going back up. Can't use the shield in the air. Do that. Why did I do that? Uh. Good as it's gonna get. That is a final boss door. Yes, it is. Vampire dragon. Yeah, I don't really like the. the I don't really like the design of this thing. <laughs> Is, uh quite weird apparently vampire means there's a face on its chest it's like out of a ghost and goblins <laughs> frames kind of kind of do their thing here they just do things sometimes yes oh almost a full heal for that one I hit. I hit with that one. Ah! Get lower! Oh my god, really? With the not being able to hit the face thing? Yeah! 
Yeah. Okay. Terrific. Oh my god. That's cool. That's real cool. Love that. Is happening. Okay, dude, come on. Oh, come the fuck on. You're doing stupid now. You're doing a dumb. Okay. No, one more. Well, I got the Hades armor. Oh, God, the hitbox. Ooh, my butt. What is this boss? What is this boss? Oh my god. <laughs> I am actually in trouble now. Oh, why did you miss? You know you hit him. You know you got him. No, 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 Yeah, the dragon head's is a weak point. It's just... Uh, the hitbox is so bad! Uh, and the fact that I rise a tiny bit when I turn around is so bad. So bad. Why is this hard? This was not hard. This was not hard years ago. Why is it hard now, all of a sudden? I haven't turned that bad in, like, f f four years. <laughs> the hitbox does not last forever. It really doesn't. You have to be right up on his face before you swing. I I can't. I I I actually can't believe this. No damage. There's no damage. Wait a minute. Oh, wait, maybe this is a- wait, what? Wasn't how it was working before. Did it maybe change? Halfway through? I was hitting the face of the dragon face before, yeah. That doesn't do a lot of damage. <laughs> Maybe it isn't- I don't know. This is so weird. Maybe I was just hitting both at the same time. Because I was hitting so, like, mediocrity... I was jumping a mediocre height. And it didn't count. There we go. It's over. One hit left before death. Wow, that last fight sucked. And I'm back to normal-ish. 
Yeah, my personas are being stolen away. And look, this house has a door now. Because it's my house. No animals allowed. A long battlefield journey has finally ended. The tales of your gallant and heroic actions will be passed down from one generation to another through all eternity. Good night, brave warrior. And good night, monster land. Hugh girl instead of Hugh man. It's really stupid. <laughs> We're not done yet though. There's there's extra stuff in this version that I have to do. And if if you thought that last dungeon was pain, wait until you see what's up ahead. And that fight was ass though. I don't know why that was like that. I think maybe we were miscalculating where the uh, where the hitbox was. It just looked like I was hitting it in the head when I was probably hitting it in the face. I think even this is a. Uh... Oh no! You can switch the music, but you can't switch the graphics. A uh, cast original 1989 typo still included. Fire octopus. Vampire dragon. Yeah, this team, uh, this team, this was like, they did, I think they did work before this, but this, this game really, like, put them on the fucking map. And, uh, they, yeah, I know all the, all the childhood picks, they, they've been picking up so much work lately now, aren't they, um, yeah, the hand shroud stuff is great, they did, um, they did the Streets of Rage remake, right? And now they're doing the, um, or not remake, they did Streets of Rage 4, and now they're doing, um, they're doing the Ninja Turtles game, aren't they? They're involved with that. And that's a game I'm looking forward to. I might actually get that when it comes out. I had not heard of this company beforehand. Oh my god, why do I have so many messages? What is this? Oh, consider it. I know what he's talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was fun revisiting this. Um, aside from that last battle being very annoying, and also dying in the uh, the hall. Like I said, I've played um, I've played this game on the hardest difficulty, extreme, and I cannot beat it. I'm up to the daimyo, like cavern, and I can't even get up to the dragon, and it's just ridiculously hard. <laughs> it's the same difficulty as hard. It's just you don't get any hearts. You once you lose all of them when you turn into lizard man, they're gone for good. All the heart uh, chests are just empty. So you really have to rely on those three uh, potions in the Hades armor, which I don't ha I didn't get up to. exploring as Hugh girl so you could do that in the, in the original game it wouldn't actually let you continue but you could enter a password to have Hugh girl 
in uh, or Hugh Man in your party. Hugh Girl didn't exist. <laughs> I think that unlocks most of the gallery, too, which you just unlock gradually as you go through the game. It's a very nice, like, this company, you could see all the love they put into uh, the art that they drew for this. Um, they pretty much drew, yeah, they drew something for, like, pretty much every form. I like that one. He's, like, crawling in to get the heart potion. The boy and the dragon. So you, they use, like, the older Adventure Island style there. I like the dragon in the background, very scaly looking. I had that as my iPhone background for a very long time when uh, the game first got announced. That's the soundtrack seat. Oh, actually, you know, that's the menu icon. Uh, you got some cool stylized stuff. That's from a trailer. I remember they had, like, them turn around. You get to see, like, the early concept art. It's pretty cool. Like, they took the original sprites and designed what they would want it to look like based off that, which, you know, that's the way to go when you're remaking retro games, I guess. It's really cool. And they designed the U-Girl. I remember that was like a big thing. Like when they revealed, they're like, yeah, you can play as a girl now. Just go ahead. No reason. Just go right ahead. The Hawk is very adorable, yes. And you get to see the old, the old enemies versus the new ones. I like what they did with the Pirate Dragon. It looks way better in the remake. Same with the Daimyo Dragon. Could not care less about Vampire Dragon. He's annoying. Got all the enemies here. That's nice because the game's pretty much one-to-one. -one. Like, you could use your password from the old games and just transfer your progress over if you never beat it. And they have, like, a whole section of animations, too. Like, pencil drawn. That never actually happens. But, uh, I'm sure some people get a kick out of that one. Don't think that ever happens, too. Here's our bird boy. There's some inks without the outlines. That's vaguely unsettling. Uh, I haven't unlocked that, 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 that. I guess those are all post-game unlocks. Concept sketches of the backgrounds and stuff. It's really cool to see all this come together. And then, uh, at the very end, you get uh, a bunch of audio sessions of them recording the music, which is incredibly cool. Like, it's each individual, like, performer playing their part in the recording studio. It's such, it's such a neat, like, touch to see that behind-the-scenes work, especially since the music in this game is one of the most, like, standout points to it. The music and the graphics are, like, the reason you play this game. You can actually hear like the other parts being played in the background of that. But yeah, you get you get a ton of those. You get you get up to 78. So yeah, that's it's it's really nice. Obviously I'm not gonna sit through all those. Uh I guess these remaining ones are based on clearing the post-game stuff. Because that's all I have left to do. Oof god. Okay. So, hey, you're back at the village as Hugh Girl. However, uh. There we go. 255 and everything. You still can, uh, transform. So, you're good. You're good. You don't have to worry about. Uh, you know, not being able to. Blah, 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 go around. It's been a long time. Thought you'd never come back to Monster Land. get ourselves healed up. Video game heroes are no longer a stereotype, but video game nurses? Yeah! 
So first thing you'll notice is this door is now here on the uh, on Hugh Girl's house. Your health is so bad from that last battle. Yeah, I know. Uh, so yeah, you'll notice uh, that there is now a door here. The unknown. So this is these areas are completely new to this version. They do have retro versions. Also, uh, retro sprites for Hugh Girl, which aren't in the original. But this area is completely new, uh, and it is extremely difficult. There is one for each form. Like, one that can only be accessed by each form. Uh, even though this one, you could technically walk into it as any. Um, but when you jump in, when you enter these areas, you're automatically force transformed into whatever form you need. Okay. Okay. Yeah, damage boosting. I don't believe you could transform... Yeah. Even the Tasmanian Swords disabled. So yeah, it's essentially six more challenge rooms. You're not supposed to damage boost, you're just kind of supposed to go. We are not okay. I feel like once you get down here, you're kind of just straight fucked. Yeah, oh no, the enemies here are all gold. You're not getting anywhere easily. God, stop! Oh, she can crouch. Ah. Oh my god, really? Really with this shit? Yeah, oh, terrible. There we go. Hearts, please. Hearts, 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 hearts. Heart. Okay. This time, don't hit the block. <laughs> yes. No! No! Dun, 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 dun. Ha 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 ha. Ha. 
Mama, 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 mama. Okay. Look, I haven't been human for very long. I'm not used to it. What? No! No! <laughs> you didn't tell me I had to left and right. No, remember that? Why you do things? It's the one where there's a bunch of bouncy blocks at the very end. Is that Mouse Man's? I know where three of the other chambers are. There's the one in the underground, which we found accidentally. There's the one at the end of the uh, lava area. There's the one underwater in the... Uh, in the... Uh, right next to the pyramid. No, no, no! Why would you do that to me? There's one that- yeah, that's the one I'm talking about, the one under the antlion. That's one, two. So two in that area. Uh, the one in the underground, so that's three. This one, that's four. There's still two more. not knock me down there, please. Okay. No! Oh, you fucker! You absolute fucker! Oh. Oh, I see how this works. You guys are just gonna do that, huh? That's not the, even the right way, huh? so much. Stop. Fucking stop, please. God damn. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, and okay, we're back here again. Cool. Just restart everything. Ah, uh, this is what I get. How dare I think I'm good at video games. No. No, get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, what the fuck do I do? All oh, right. Do this. Like a champ. Alright. So that's the first one of those. Um, stone. One. There are six. I think you only need four to get the, uh, the final sword. You actually, uh, cannot leave here, can you? Oh, no, wait, you can. Alright, go, 
Go ahead, just, just take me out, please. Yeah, I get a chance for a free potion if I do that. Nice. Paid off. Yep, nice. Look at the stone. Oh, wait, I lost all my... Ah, whatever. These weren't doing shit at this point. These are not going to help me in the underground areas. Or unknown areas, rather. Okay, so that one's done. Um, there's two in the desert. One down there. Mouse Man's is down there. I don't know where the rest of them are. Piranha Man's is in, um... Piranha Man's is in the water. Actually, that was the hardest trial, apparently. <laughs> Alright. I mean, this won't be as hard as I thought. That trial, that trial was some CBT right there. Oh, man. Oh, boy. As uh, Sojiro would say. So where's Lion's Man's? Lion's Man's? I've been through all these enemies are like nothing. <laughs> oh, there it is. I see it. There's breakable blocks down here. The unknown. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. That the water is like up. Breaking noise is so satisfying. Alright, 
this isn't too bad. Just uh, equip the dragon mail. And you guys act like like breaking those blocks is gonna kill me, but it ain't. These these samurai might ninjas. Why is there a door here and a droppable area? Oh, okay, that's just the way out. Perfect. Alright, stone. Stone. Alright. We're good. Okay, the uh, the unknown area for Piranha Man's not too hard to find. It's literally like right next to this. Right here. Sword. No, that's not what I wanted. Prince armor. Doof. I'm a doof. Alright. I also love how I said there was all gold enemies here, and I was absolutely not telling the truth. Sorry, I have lost my gamer cred. <sighs> Alright, now we're into the gold enemy area. It's taking a second. A lot of damage though. Oh, this does enough. Well, that collects items too, I didn't notice that. <gasps> didn't think I'd notice you there, huh? Oh look, and they build that specifically to knock that dude in there. Thank <laughs> you. 
I think smart, not hard. They're giving me those uh, boomerangs for a reason there. Half of them down. And if they think, if you think I'm going backwards through that, fucking crazy. Okay, so wait, there's two up there, and then there's one. Okay, yeah. If you're dying, I'll help. See, it's clever that they hide Mouse Man's down here because you can reach Mouse Man or reach this area's Mouse Man without uh without uh needing uh the, the Tasmanian sword. Though I think you can't get to the temple without Lion Man, just cause uh I don't know, maybe you can, because everyone jumps the same. I remember the end of this area. Yeah, this this part gets annoying. This is a platforming challenge, I just remembered. Oh, the memories are coming flooding back. Yep. Bill, let's take some bets here. How many more till I reach the end? Expect you to somehow stick that in midair, I guess. That makes sense. Pfft. 
Wait, why? Why? Why did I do that? Why? Why? What was wrong with me there? Why did my brain make me do that? Eh. Just, I don't care. Just... I don't care. Just... Here, I'll just get over here. I'm actually running out of time. I only have 30 minutes left before I have to stop. More. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's fucking go, lads. Oh, you can't, you can't. So you gotta, you gotta handicap yourself on purpose, or you're not gonna do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay! Oh, this is making me, like, not want to finish this now. This one was the one I remember having the most trouble with, all of a sudden. Clung to it, you were touching it. Oh, come on. Come the fuck on, dude. jump like off the direction you're facing. Ah! <laughs> Anus pounding. Okay. Okay. 
All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. We've made serious progress here. I need I need the heart, please. You can just come down here whenever you want. Oh my god. Fucking crazy. You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Look at this, and they punish you by making you do everything over again. This sucks. Why would they design this like this? This is not fun. Okay, sticking to the ground does not help you. Fun, not fun, okay. Oh, they could have made this like a little closer so that it's not as bad, but no, they can't. They can't and they won't. Didn't you grab it? Why didn't you grab it, man? You coulda, you coulda, you coulda. I was pressing the buttons. I was holding the direction. Why did you disobey me? Why? Upright. Upright. Why didn't you go upright? Why didn't you cling to the wall? Why did you not do what I said to do? Why would you make me do this again, again? Okay. Okay! We're good. Just another, you know, another chance to do this. More time for fun. They're like, oh, human, that's the worst of them all. No, man. Have you seen Mouse Man? No. Mouse Man doesn't even compare to Human. He's got nerves of steel! And apparently butter on his feet. Nope, cool. Cool miss.
Ain't no mind to any of this. Like the heads are going down because I think that they are wrapping. They, they like I'm so high up in the air. They think I'm at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> anyway, here we are here, and if we go right, we get the unknown again. Going, man. Keep it going, man. There we go. Ah, uh, yes. The illusion of safety. It's over for me. Nope. They've given me one last chance to save myself. Nope. No, 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 Seahawks exist. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. Oh no! I need to actually kill them. <laughs> we're clear. I think we're in the clear. Oh, I think we did it. good. We're good. That's all I need, actually, to get the last weapon. What do the stones do again? They activate... It's... They, they fulfill some kind of charm stat. In the original game, it was dependent on both your form and your equipment would, would change your charm stat. I don't know what the point of the charm stat in the original game was. In this game... It's mostly to just buy the post-game sword. Which you'll see in a second here. And you only need four of the six to do it. If you get all six of them, though, uh, what happens is there's doors that unlock the boss fight. Like, you just go straight to the boss again. I don't know why, but it, like, it replays the boss scenario in post-game. Galax Sword. Striped. Stock up on magical items. 250 attack plus special. Latest model. So that's the last uh, item in the game. It uh, it makes enemies drop more uh, power up items that you could use, like these, the sub weapons. And that's it. <laughs> that's all you get. It is really good though. Let me attempt, uh, Lizard Man's stage. So, not fully ne No, it's not necessary at all. It's all bonus stuff. This- the- the original game worked really weird with it. I don't know... Um... 
how it worked exactly, because there were these stones weren't in the the stones dropped randomly in the original game, and you could have up to 99 of them, as opposed to this game where there's just six. I don't know how it worked in that game, but all it did was let you unlock uh, boss refights, or maybe certain items in the show. I don't know. I actually have no idea. Again, I've never beaten the original version. Anyway, I, I did all of them except Mouse Man's. So let me finish up with Lizard Man's. Mouse Man's, that's the end, too. Uh, when you get Once you get past that spitting thing, uh, it's it, you, you hit the end. I'm gonna pick up a potion, too, while I'm here. Look how, look how many of these are dropping now. Every enemy's dropping one. Found another password skip for R-Type final. Nice. I don't think I've ever played an R- I said that yesterday, too. I never- I've never played an R-Type game. Oh, cool. Alright, cool. Infinite suck loop here. Feeling you're on the right track for the password. Wait, so are the passwords like actual words, or are they just random letters and numbers? Actual words or phrases. Oh, cool. that up. Considering the ship unlock was from the Lady Love variant, I tried stuff like Valentine. Ah, got it. That's cool. You made it work. Turns out it was love and peace. <laughs> nice. Okay, give me a health refill, please. Thank you. It's based off the sh okay, but it has the three wave chart and it just hits 25% hard. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty neat. Oh, why did I do that?
Alright, here we go. Final unknown. Oh, right. No shield. No shield with, uh... With Lizard Man. Uh, let's see. What can I get from him? That's the best. Uh... Legendary armor. Legendary shield. Look how many of these shields just give him nothing. And legendary sword is the best. The magical saber actually gives him zero attack. It is possible to give him, uh... Like, no, no stat. It's possible to have zero and three be your stats. That's not too bad for Lizard Man, though. You have the currencies after that. You could buy the Wave Master and the Lady Love, and that has a tier four Wave Cannon charge. Oh, cool. It's been so long since I've had to use Lizard Man for anything. Um. Remember not to rapid fire because it cancels out the current bullet. Ow. It's actually Lizard Man with attack power is actually pretty broken because <laughs> because it's all ranged. So I find it funny that upgrading uh, weapons for Lizard Man, you know, it, it, we're technically just using a breath weapon. We're not using a sword, so I'm just naturally becoming stronger by holding it. Ah, uh, so there's like a weapon upgrade system in it, I see. Oh no. Oh right, I remember this gimmick here. Uh... If I equip the magic saber, then I can't break the rocks. The game gives you three ships. Got it. Okay. Now I put on Magical Saber. Uh, five of them. Not bad. <sighs> I could try going for Mouse Man one more time, but I don't. I don't think it's gonna work out too well for me. That's the only thing I haven't done at this point. Stars a massive, can massive cannon on its chest. That sounds like my kind of uh, ship right there. I always go for the hard hitters in a uh, in any game, which is why I'm playing as Lion Man right now. Wow, that coin flipped the fuck out.
That's his max stats, 235, 220. Not that it really matters, because combat has nothing to do with this. Combat is not the reason this one's hard. Once again, back here. And there we go. It's failure one. Heart Attack Simulator. Ow. I can't use that going sideways. Okay. Oh my god, how are you supposed to time this? One, two, three, side. 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 Go up. It is a. Oh, what? Wait, what? Huh? Why is there a key? Why is there a key? Okay. No, a little more anxiety to go. <sighs> Whew. We did it. Oh, God. First try. <laughs> it sounds pretty interesting. I, I've never, again, I've never played an R type game, but I would definitely be willing to try one at some point. Can't think of anything else to tell you. It all sounds cheesy to me. I think he says something different for each form now. They have a demo up for it. Oh, cool. Welcome back. You make me want to cover my other eye. Can you hold your breath for more than 10 minutes? I can see your future from here. No need to come closer. That's a- oh, you already saw that one. Okay, apparently you have nothing to say there. So yeah, that's everything. Um, what happens when you get all six of them now is that you just- There's some doors that just randomly take you to the bosses and they respawn. I don't remember where- so, uh, I remember where a couple of them are. Like, right here? I think there's one right here. No, there's one down there. Next to that door. But other than that, there's no, no new content. It's just refighting them. It's like if I go here or not, maybe that I was wrong. Never mind. 
I know there's warp to the last levels up here. There it is. Wait, no. Oh, this is just a shop. Potions and thunder. Strike all nearby monsters. Restore health. I could have swore there was another door. Oh, maybe it was on top of the platform. It's like here. Yeah, there it is. Yep, and it just takes you to the last room. And essentially there's one of those for every boss. And what it does is it just regenerates the boss and you can refight it. You get cursed again afterwards, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, uh, that's, that's the game. That's all of it. There's nothing else. I'll unlock the, uh, these are all, like, more, I guess, more title cards. I like the early, uh, lizard man on the right. The village. The original mecha dragon design. Kind of see a progress of how it, like, how they drew it in over time. I guess that was the original look of the transformation room. I actually like that a lot, but I do kind of like the mystical quality of the uh, one in the final game. And then we're here. Yep, so we've seen everything at this point. Oh, man. So I cut that real close. I have to just stop streaming now in like a minute uh, and make myself some dinner. Uh, thank you guys for coming. I appreciate it. Especially you, Val. Thank you for stopping by and keeping me company. Um... I will be heading out now. This game is finished. Uh, tomorrow, I'll pr probably do Monster Hunter multiplayer. So if you're around, I'll uh, I'll stream that. And I'll also stream uh, a couple other short things that I want to do, maybe. Um, or maybe I'll save them for another time. I don't know. Then next week, uh, more new Pokemon Snap, as well as uh, Tribal Hunter, finally. Yeah, if you're around, let me know. I'll uh, You could definitely join the stream. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let everyone know I'm going to do that, too. All right, then. You guys have a great evening, and I will see you tomorrow. Good night.